Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a fun video. So we're gonna try out several new drugstore makeup products or some that are just new to me, but a couple really cool things. I have some of the Real Techniques Brush Crush brushes. I've got the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. I've also got the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter foundation, and I've got some other things. I've got um, new Milani highlighters, also new lips from Milani. I've got some NYX stuff. So we're just gonna dive in. I'm gonna try to use as much drugstore as I can, but if I don't have something drugstore, I'll just use something that I have. I don't have a new drugstore primer, but I am gonna use the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer to get my skin prepped and ready. This is a great alternative if you don't wanna pay for like the Smashbox Primer or some other like smoothing primer because this one is so affordable. I'm gonna take the Revlon Insta Filter Foundation. I have the shade 110 Ivory. I really am not sure if that's gonna be a good match or not. The interesting thing about this one is that it is kind of like a spongy applicator on it. You see that? So I just got foundation everywhere because I was shaking it up. So uh, leave the lid on or put your finger over that. It does say to shake well, so I would just make sure to cover that up. And then it says to twist base. I'm twisting for like 30 years. It takes a good bit of twisting, but there it is on the top. So we're gonna try to just kind of cover the good design. No, you obviously couldn't, you can't really bounce it in like a beauty blender because it's leaving that little impression. So I'm gonna see if I can like smooth it out a little bit. Like that's not the perfect application. I'm just gonna kind of smooth it over. I'm not blending it in obviously. And then we will take a brush and see how this works. I'm gonna grab the Real Techniques. This is the 301 Brush Crush for foundation. It's really big and it's got like a duo fiber. So you've got your more dense bristles here where you can see the purple and they're kind of wispy on the end. So we're just gonna buff it in. The color is pretty good for me. So I picked up the ivory and it looks, I would say it looks pretty right. Um, definitely not a bad match at all. A lot of times with drugstore, you're just happy to find something close. So the fact that this is blending in with my neck is really nice. I'm seeing my pores here. This brush isn't really blending it like perfectly. Um, you could obviously do a beauty blender, which is probably what I'm about to do. I'll definitely try this brush with different foundations though, because you never know. It's not bad. Like I could let this go, but I'm a pretty big perfectionist when it comes to like the way my foundation looks as far as the coverage and smoothness. And I think I'm just used to a beauty blender. But this did apply it kind of smoothly. It didn't absorb a lot of product. You can see a little bit of the color there, but it didn't really absorb much, which is nice. To have a little bit more, because I feel like I need more coverage in my cheeks, which is common with a lot of foundations. This is looking like medium coverage. I'm just gonna bounce that in. The second layer seems to be drying faster. So I'm gonna work quickly. Overall, it's not bad. Um, I'm not crazy about it. You can still see like a little discoloration there. I would say this foundation is okay. I wanted to quickly go through and just say like what this is supposed to be. So it says it's flawless finish foundation with a built-in blender to make you look as good in person as you do online. It's a built-in sponge to make it easy to blend foundation. Mm. Innovative formula works with your skin type to even and smooth skin tone. It looks okay. Um, full range of high definition shades, fresh face, natural finish. I would agree with that. Not dewy, not matte, definitely natural. Um, medium, buildable coverage. Okay, I can see that. It's not, 
I, I think the coverage is pretty good overall. It's medium. Um, building it up helped a little bit, but not that much. High definition filter technology captures and transforms any light to blur and soften flaws, leaving the perfect app filtered look. SPF 20 protection and all day wear. I will check in with you guys late tonight. I am working until 10 p.m. so this makeup is going to be on for a long time so we will give you guys a look and see how well it did. Now I'm going to try the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer which looks like this. I did get the lightest shade but I'm always pretty skeptical when it comes to the lightest shades in drugstore. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's very yellow. I'm going to try to blend this in and see how it looks. It does look a little lighter, I'm surprised, but I think it's that like yellowish brightness coming through. Not bad, it didn't add coverage over that foundation. I think this would be a good concealer like if you just wanted to go out with basically no makeup on and just conceal a few areas, this would probably be good. So it definitely looks yellow. We're gonna see if we can make it work though. I'm gonna take just a little bit of shape tape and go under my eyes cause this one is not gonna be as brightening. So I'm first kind of focusing on blending out the CoverGirl concealer. And then I'll go more into that under eye. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be one of my all-time favorites, but it's not bad. It's definitely usable. I didn't purchase any powders, so I'm just going to set my face with the RCMA powder. And first, I'm going to use a little bit of the Becca Brightening Under Eye Setting Powder. I'm just lightly baking some of my oilier areas so just basically my t-zone i know i look a little crazy on the nose but my nose is the one place i get shining i'm dry everywhere else so i'm just gonna let that set for a couple of minutes nothing too crazy and i'm actually gonna grab this morphe brush this came in a set that i picked up at ulta it had five face brushes in it and then i also got the eye set so this is a really flat, dense brush. I'm just going to pick up some powder on here and just kind of stipple that in. It's just been my favorite way to set my face lately. I don't want to leave that sitting too long so I'm using the Real Techniques 300. This is their powder brush in the Brush Crush collection. So I'm just going to like dust away first the eye and then my teeth on. I am set. Now I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, brows are on. They're looking a little thick and a little dark. Some days your brows agree and some days they want to act insane. So I am going to go with the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette and we're going to try it out today. I'm going to prime my lids with a little Lorac behind the scenes eye primer and I'm just going to smooth it on with my finger and then I'm going to find like a cleaner spot on my beauty blender and just kind of bounce that in and smooth it out. And I actually tried this out the other day, the Velvetizer from Urban Decay. I tried mixing it with the foundation. I didn't love it that way, so I actually took a little bit of it to kind of set my eye primer and it was really nice. It created a nice smooth canvas. So I'm gonna do that again today. It's like I'll find a way to use this baby. I'm going to use this set of Morphe brushes that I picked up at Ulta. They've got some really nice looking brushes here and some several fluffy ones that came with this bag. I'm going to dip into this brown shade underneath Aquarius as my transition color. Ooh, 
really pigmented that coat of that brush. And there aren't a lot of light matte shades in here. That's one of the lightest ones in the pink. So I'm gonna take some Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and with that same brush, just kind of blend it upwards because it's a little bit darker transition for my skin color at least. And I could grab another eyeshadow, but this blends it out really nicely. And then I'm just kind of dragging that transition up a little bit too. Now I'm going to take a different brush from that set. I'm going to dip into this darker green under Capricorn. Eyeshadows are a little bit dusty, but they are pigmented, so I'm not mad at it. It just, it can get a little messy. So I would do just like a light tap into the shadow. You don't have to like swirl or anything in there to pick up the shadow. Now I'm gonna take that shimmer shade Capricorn, and I'm going to use my finger, really pigmented too. And I'm gonna put that not all the way to the outer, kind of blending it next to that darker green and into the middle of my eyelid. Now I'm gonna take Aquarius, what looks kind of like a duochrome. Really pretty. And take that in the inner part of my eye. I'm gonna take this smaller little detail brush and take Aquarius just so I can put it right in the inner corner. And now I'm gonna take this shade, which is like a darker orange under Sagittarius and use that on my lower lash line. And now I'm gonna go into Scorpio, which is this really like burnt orange metallic. Dip lightly into that and go in the inner part of my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna go into this inner highlight and do my inner corner. Let me use a little bit on my brow bone as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of contouring I'm taking some micro smooth powder to just blend that in. I use a lot of contour on my forehead so it can get a little out of hand and this just really makes it blend beautifully. Take this brush out of that Morphe set and dip into that contour for my cheekbones. I'm gonna use some Milani blush in Dulce Pink. Another one of those Morphe brushes. And now I'm grabbing the Real Techniques in the Brush Crush 302. I think this one either said blush or contour. I'm gonna use it to dip into this Milani highlighter. This is the Hypnotic Lights in Luster Light. So we're gonna try some of this out. I 
I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but it's this pretty soft duochrome. It is really nice. Ooh. I love these. Try to layer it kind of heavy so maybe you'll be able to see it. I'm going to pop on some Chubby Lash Mascara. I got three of the new Milani's Amore Shine liquid lip colors. I got mostly really pinky shades, but I'm going to try the one that looks like a pink nude. I feel like it might clash with this, so I'm just going to pop a little bit in the center. It looks all right. I really like this applicator. It's like almost triangular, but one side's a little curved. I think you'll be able to see it there. It's really nice. That one side kind of cups the lip. So I've still got a lot of really fun things that I didn't try out here. I've got a lot of really bright colored NYX eyeshadows and liners. So if you guys want to see another one trying out more new stuff, you can check out my Ulta haul, see what I got, and I can do another look. But this one's a really cute, I think. I do love like the burnt orange and green together. I think it's really, really pretty but hopefully you guys enjoyed. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me try out some of these new products. If you have questions, just drop them in the comments below and also leave any video suggestions down below, anything that you'd like to see. I would love to know and make sure to check out my giveaway. It's going on right now and it is linked in the description box below. Hey guys, so it is about 11 o'clock at night. I worked all afternoon. And I have to say, I want to get a mirror so I can kind of look at it up close. So overall, this foundation did pretty good. Again, it's the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter. I've got mine in the shade Ivory. Um, I don't think that this applicator is really going to work. Um, it is kind of rigid on the side there. So like you're basically getting a circle and then it kind of leaves the imprint of the like inner circle. So it didn't really work as like a makeup sponge type of applicator, but that's no big deal. I really didn't expect it to be amazing. Uh, the formula is okay. I set my face really well and overall I still, I crease a little bit in my smile line. As you can see, I'm a little shiny. That happens to me with basically every foundation. I don't like to wear extremely matte foundations, so for me, I like something that's more natural matte. This one is natural though, so it could have been helped more with a more matte foundation. So I'm not mad at a little bit of shine, that's not a big deal. It did wear off a little bit on my chin, and I'm seeing it settle into my pores here, but also take into consideration that I use the e.l.f poreless face primer and I don't think this one is amazing it is okay and especially if you were really working on the budget it's not bad but I could have made this foundation last longer with a better primer so keep that in mind I don't think it's bad for the price it's okay this to me is a little bit expensive I'll, ha I'll look at the price and put it right here on the screen but this is kind of expensive for a drugstore foundation so I would probably forego this one if you're looking for drugstore foundation these are the ones that I have liked a lot uh, the Milani conceal and perfect is pretty good the wet n wild photo focus um, wears a little bit better than this and it's so inexpensive like five or six bucks 
looks and I think the Maybelline Superstay was really good. This is the Superstay full coverage. So to me these would be like my top two choices instead of that. Um, yeah, I can make this work for sure, but it's going to be a little bit lighter coverage than what I really like, and it didn't wear beautifully. It did okay, though, and I have had it on for a while, so keep that in mind, and overall, not bad. I'm not mad at it, but if I'm going to go drugstore, I probably would pick a couple others before that one. So that is it. Thank you for sticking around till the end if you saw this section of the video, and I will see you guys in my next one.